Well, everybody, it's August, and sorry it took a little while to get this update video, but I've been busy at work, and it's been rough. We have been overworked. And check it out. I finally have the Deluxe Edition. The thing that I almost was thinking I would never get my hands on, ever. So now, I have two versions of Final Fantasy VII Remake. And you know what? Uh, it's pretty nice to have two versions of the game. Uh, the good news is I do have everything installed. And check that out. They're actually pretty identical. I do actually want to take another look at... Uh, sorry, the original release I bought because it is slightly different on the inside if you actually want to go and look. Take out that stuff and see what I mean here. First off, you have that side right there, and that's the back, and everything's the same, and it's actually got quite a bit. Now, we're going to turn that over and check this out. You have, as you can see there, barely, you actually have the black part. So, we have classic sort of PlayStation 1 type look, and then we have more the current type stuff. So, that's pretty cool. And, yeah, it's really cool. Of course, this side is the one with the barcode, so that's the one that still gets scanned, so, you know, that way. Oh, and uh, I also picked up today, just to re-add it into my collection, I have it digitally, but I still wanted a physical copy, Batman Arkham Knight. I just had to get this game again. This is so great to play, and uh, uh, GameStop, is, of course, I still have to take it out of the little pocket thing, but you know what, that's, that's a small price to pay. All right. I'll talk about what's probably... I have no idea what's going to happen this month, to be fair. I mean, last month was all right, but I was still... We're still getting worked pretty badly, guys, so... This is a pretty good thing, and right now I'm pretty much just paying off my game, so... There's that. So again, trusty story knife, and here we go, guys. Here we go, and I cannot get this... Oh, spin. Oh, there we go. There we go. Throw a knife. See, look, it's really going in. Alright, let's get the plastic off. And I do want to say that this is actually pretty heavy. This is pretty heavy. So, first off, take a look. It is actually pretty nice. And look, there's actual sort of, um, I would call a mother of pearl type uh, effect on the words and stuff. And that gives you a hint on just how thick it is. I mean, look at how thick it is compared to a normal blue PlayStation 4 game. So it's pretty big. Now we're going to again come over and look. And as you can see here, we have a few things. I hope it focuses. It probably won't. And it's not focusing. I'm sorry, guys. Wait, there we go. If you can read that, because I can't read it from the screen, that's you're, you got better sight than I do right now. Let's see. Mini soundtrack, steel case. Yeah, I like that. Uh, the Cactus Summoner Metro. There's actual DLC. I did not realize that. And the art book. So this actually has a lot. So we're going to open it up and see what we got. And I'm probably going to save one of these for my friend. And ooh, well, guess what, guys? We got a lot in here. Okay, so first off, here's the steel case. Really nice steel case. And look who's on the front. And that is actually really nice. And look, the blade actually has its own type of reflection with Sephiroth. Now we're going to open it up and look at that. Inside is Cloud and of course uh, shit I can't even remember the city's name right now. Midgard. I believe it was Midgard. So I could be wrong. Alright now we have the deluxe edition art book. That's really nice. Let's open it up and see. What, ooh this is actually pretty thick too. I mean look. Hope you can hear that. So it's pretty thick. Ooh, God, I cannot wait to start. It's actually in both Japanese and English. That is awesome. Gives you an idea here. Whoa. That's... <laughs> okay, we have to look at this. Check this out. Here's Cloud with a sort of... Uh, I think that's when he's a kid, like in that one sequence. There's him full. And they even have him as the toad. Because, you remember, you can't be turned into a toad as one of the spells. So this is cool. Uh, let's see what... Oh, we've got Aerith, and we even have her as a kid. And we yeah, a little Aerith Toad. Oh, that, that, that's so cute. The Aerith Toad is so cute. Now we have Tifa. I, I would not have pictured Tifa with like a little cowboy type 
had our little whoa. Kung Fu Toad. I like how they it's just so cool. Now we have Barrett. <laughs> I love the fact that they've actually included the toad. And that right there looks like the actual original game design. So that's really cool. And now we have, uh, as it turns out, many of the supporting cast. Remember, this only takes place in Midgard, unfortunately, which is the real problem. But you know what? That's still a small price to pay because I think the game is so massive. And look here. We have one whole page just developed to suffer off. And there's... Uh, Quite a few other characters so i'm gonna get a lot of fun out of this all right now i have to be careful as i really don't want to do certain things so here's the mini soundtrack the normal cd size so that's good yeah we have the tracks on the other side tifa's theme suffering scorpion serenade the turks theme main theme of final fantasy i'm surprised i don't see one wing angel on here maybe you do but I know I don't. Look at that. The Turks theme is here. Thank God. I'm like, oh, wow, what do you know? Check this out. I actually have to open... I have to open the game again. Well, this is kind of cool. So, guess what, guys? I've literally got two copies of the movie, of the game, literally lying around that are almost identical to each other. This one will probably be the one that I'm going to have to use. But you know what? This is cool. And wow, this really does not want to come open. Well, look at that. Look at that. There is the cell phone. This is literally this sealed up. Okay. All right. Now I need to check. Uh, yep. Yeah, there's my uh, cactus. Sorry, guys. I can't let you see that. And the same other junk from the game. So I'm going to put that over there. And look at that. Once again, we've got data disk game disc all that good stuff so this is actually pretty cool this is actually pretty cool so that will be going over there and i will do something with that over there yeah it's insane guys it's insane but to finally have this and to actually be able to go hey yeah i, I finally have my final fantasy stuff it's pretty cool and again this steel case is this alone is worth the price tag. I do wish I had some more, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. And this is pretty cool. It's a nice unboxing. And I didn't think I would ever get it either because, you know, the shutdown really screwed everything up. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm probably going to get Resident Evil 3, unfortunately. Go figure. Um, that's not a big downside for me. I still have so many games to play, it's not even funny. Um... I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima. I've also seen Angry Joe's uh, review of the game. And you know what? He said the same thing I kind of did. Um, and I've actually talked to a few other people. And they're like, yeah. It, it draws heavily on an Assassin's Creed game. It feels like Assassin's Creed Japan. You know, it, it feels like that. And I'm not complaining one bit. Now, I also want to say that this is actually a good thing, too. Because we began the PS4s life really within the first year with a major sucker punch game which was infamous second son and now we're ending it really with um with uh ghost of tashima and i always want to say ghosts i don't know why um but guys the game is so worth it if you can get your hands on a copy of this game do it i don't care if you have to digitally download but if you can get a physical copy you are a lucky person. Buy it. Play it. Have fun. Uh, I'll definitely do um, my review playthrough where I give you some more of my thoughts, but I'm having so much fun. I'm also uh, developing stories for The Sims 4 on my PS4 and a few other things. Um, there's also a bunch of movies I'm watching, and I just saw Sonic the Hedgehog, so I'll probably do something for that. And um, <laughs> that was actually a good movie. Plus, I even saw Scooped. I, I got that on 4K along with Sonic. Um, there's probably a few others. The thing is, though, is that right now, I, I kind of, with my massive movie collection and my massive game collection, and, I mean, not even all the games are over there. There's some over here where I'm sitting, where I can see my PS2, my PS1, there's my GameCube, my Wii. I mean, I've got so much, it's not even funny. Um, not even counting my handhelds. And then there's stuff I want to get for the PC. 
right now I can't really this is not a PC that's built really for a game and it's mostly just my video and a few things here and there so I gotta live with that but you know what it's been fun and uh, I'm hoping for some more stuff so guys um, I will see you later please like and subscribe uh, do your comments and don't spoil anything for anybody and have fun also check out Andrew Green with Joe's video it was freaking awesome and I'll see you guys later peace like and subscribe